just creepy stories, but specifically ghost stories that I found on Reddit. Now, I know that sometimes the stories that I read can be disturbing, especially because a lot of the stories that I read are about people doing crappy things to other people. And I can see how sometimes that's just not the kind of creepy story you feel like hearing. Sometimes you want something more mysterious, more ominous, something not from this physical
this is just like a stress ball exactly Shower was. 
was off. I went over to the handle and rotated it. It turned back on. I turned it on and off a few times. Everything functioned normally. My girlfriend and I looked at each other. I don't know exactly what we said, but after a brief discussion, we agreed that whatever had happened with the shower was not explainable with normal logic. I don't know which one of us started calling out AR's name first, but we both started doing it. AR, did you turn the shower off? Can you hear us? It didn't take long before we both felt some sort of immense presence. We only had to make eye contact to to know that we were both feeling it. We both started saying things out loud, directed at AR, for a few more seconds before the feeling passed. I don't think either of us believed what had just happened because we confirmed it with each other a number of times before finally promising each other that we'd never let the other think it couldn't have happened. Then we jokingly started asking AR, his ghostly existence by flickering the lights, at which point we started to freak ourselves out a bit and decided we just needed to leave. And that's it. I've told a few people what happened, including AR's dad. He seemed to think I should keep it to myself, but he also had just lost his only son, and he hadn't begun to start anything resembling a recovery. I don't even know if he really heard what I said. I wonder sometimes. And that is the end of story number one. That is definitely creepy and very, very tragic. I think, like, when it comes to small things like that, like a faucet turning on or a light flickering, I don't associate it with ghosts. It would definitely take something to happen for me to be like it was definitely a ghost <laughs> but I will say considering the circumstances it's easy to make that connection I did like how they explained everything in good detail so I could imagine it perfectly on to story this is a classic horror story title. This story is called Old Farmhouse. When I was about seven or eight, my family moved into an old farmhouse. I have a little brother. My brother is three years younger than me, so he was around four or five at the time. This house had an upstairs which had two rooms. My brother and I were very excited about this since we always had to share a room. He picked the room to the left of the stairs. It was nice, but in the corner of his room, it had a tiny door that led into a small attic. It gave me an eerie feeling, so I couldn't understand why he would pick that room, but he was hell-bent on that being his room. I took the room to the right, which had a little window that looked out over the farm. It was great. We set our rooms up and unpacked. Fast forward to a few weeks later, my mom decided it was time for us to take a nap. In my room, of course. For context, I had a little red rocking chair with Dalmatians with my name painted on it. It was the cutest. I had grown out of it, though, since it was made for me when I was a toddler. Well, when we went to lay down for our nap, everything was fine. Then, out of nowhere, my brother started freaking out and screaming, clinging to my mother for dear life. My mother tried to soothe him, but nothing was helping. She asked my brother what was wrong. My brother pointed to the rocking chair and said, There's a little girl in Sissy's chair, and she doesn't want us up here. He was so inconsolable that my mom had to bring us downstairs. That is the first time the entity made herself known. I never saw her, but I'd always feel her presence, or have nightmares about her. The weird thing was, is, that I'd only see her in my dreams, if I was in my room sleeping. So that quickly turned into my brother and I sleeping in my mom's bed. Most of the time, she would target my brother.
sister, so he never stayed in his room. One night, my mom talks me and my brother into sleeping in my bed upstairs to have a break. We only agreed to do it if we could leave the room light on. She agreed. We fell asleep. I woke up in my room, alone. Everything is the same, but I was alone. Something was telling me to get up and go to the window. I don't know why, but I did. As soon as I got to the window, I see this little girl run to the side of the house and start crawling up the side of my window. Remember, I'm on the second floor. I'm startled awake before she can reach me, and I sit up in bed and realize I'm reliving my dream. I'm panicking, staring at the window, and again something is telling me to go over to it. But instead, I dart down the stairs to my mom's room and find my brother laying on the floor near the end of my mom's bed. We didn't say much to each other besides agreeing. We felt safer near my mom. I learned years later that my brother had the same dream that night. That's creepy. Fast forward a couple years later, we moved to a new home. We had to share rooms again, but we were fine with that. We were scared from all the years of dealing with this entity. We thought we would finally have some peace, but we were wrong. Shortly after moving, the same stuff started happening again. This time, I actually saw her. It was dark out, and my mom needed something from her car. I tell her I'll get it. As soon as I retrieved what she needed from the car, I turned towards the house to go back in. But I looked over into the field next to our house and see her appear and disappear. Every time she reappeared, she was closer. I never ran so fast in my life. I ran into the house hysterical. I told my mom and my stepdad, and they were obviously concerned. My mom didn't believe she had followed us to the new house, but now she did. We made the conclusion that she attached herself to my rocking chair. So we moved again, and when we did, we left my rocking chair at the house, and since then we haven't seen her, and I haven't dreamed about her. Growing up after this, I always wondered if she was an evil entity or a demon in disguise. Pretty crazy. That's definitely a very creepy image to think about. A girl, a little girl, disappearing and reappearing closer to you every time she reappears. Scary. Gives me images of Samara from The Ring. <laughs> Speaking of which, this next ghost story also has a similar feel. It is called, I think I saw a ghost and I don't know how to feel about it. When I was nine years old, I used to sleep with my mom. She is a single mom, so I slept with her since I was little. One night, I was laying down like normal, almost asleep. My mom was already asleep, and I got the urge to look in the doorway. I looked up, and there was a lady standing in the doorway. I froze in fear. I had no idea what to do. I had my dog laying next to me, so I grabbed her for safety, I guess. There was a window facing the street, and there was a little light coming through. I closed my eyes, hoping it was just my eyes, but no. I opened them, and this lady was tall, with black hair in her face, where I couldn't see her face. She had what looked to be a dress or a nightgown to her feet. She was like a dark mist. She proceeded to walk towards my side of the bed. I was scared, but not terrified. I didn't feel like I was in danger. She got to the edge of the bed where I was and leaned over me. I had my eyes open at this point. It looked like she had reached down to pet my dog, then proceeded to lean over my face, and it almost felt like someone kissed my forehead. I was freaked the fuck out. She turned around and slowly walked towards the door. When she finally reached the door, she turned around and looked at me and then disappeared. I didn't know what had just happened, but I convinced myself I was seeing things and I went to sleep. Whenever I tell people this, they don't believe me, which I understand it sounds nuts. I was once told by a friend, maybe it was the wailing woman, woman. but I looked it up and I couldn't find anything. And they left an edit. I have also seen children, I've seen a little girl and a little boy. Sometimes they like to play tricks on everybody by moving things and sometimes talking in rooms. No one 
as in the land I live in used to be an old military base and if I were to guess I think something tragic might have happened to this hap to this family so they're saying there's a woman and two children haunting this house the others vibes <laughs> that's interesting pretty cool have any of you guys ever seen the others which is an old horror movie with Nicole Kidman mm, so good such a good movie that's a good horror movie really it's more like a a thriller I guess okay so this next story is actually it's mostly just a picture that somebody took and posted on the internet there's something very eerie about it, yet at the same time kind of funny about it. I'll go ahead and read the caption. This was way back in 2015. It happened in the Philippines. My cousin decided to take a photo while waiting for their dad slash uncle to open the garage door. Note that on the farthest right, that side of the car is sticking too close to the wall. There's no way to open the door from that side and the window is closed. If you guys want more context or story of my cousin in white, just let me know and I'll tell you in the comments. Sorry, I have to go back to work. Blurred their photo, of course, for privacy. Okay, so before I pass this picture for you to see, I'm gonna go ahead and read a couple comments. First comment, I immediately knew this was taken from the Philippines. Their hair and clothes were a giveaway. I used to take photos with my cousins and friends like that too, so I just felt a sense of familiarity. I actually had something similar. I got out of the shower in our province house, then I was still in my towel. I snapped a photo with my cousin and two friends. I don't know, teen stuff. Anyway, we looked at the photo and were so freaked out because there was a hairy arm wrapped around my shoulder. We looked and traced all our arms and noticed they could all be seen in the photo. And the reason why the ones holding me was visible was because I only had my towel on and so we could see my neck and shoulders. We were definitely spooked. It was the same house where I saw a lady in white going up the stairs floating when I was about six years old. Interesting, interesting. And let's just do one more comment. Someone said, I'm not understanding. The girl in the middle, the pink top, is holding the camera. To me, it looks like a limo, so the seats are not in a normal bench seat. To me, that does look like a spirit, and it looks more like more than one. There's a hand and a partial arm coming up the middle. It's a weird angle for anyone we see, including the apparition. Alright, I'm gonna post it. You'll see in the right hand side of the photo what looks to be something that may not be a normal person. I mean, if I took a photo and saw that behind me, I think I would second guess whether or not there's some reaction would be <laughs> that someone is in the car with us, like a person hiding. But then, obviously, if we looked around and there was nobody, then maybe I might think this could be a ghost. Definitely creepy, but I don't know. Creepy, but funny at the same time. Am I right? Okay, guys. So, I'm going to end this video here. I'm sorry for the background noise. I try to wait out the trash man, but he's been here for like 40 minutes and I got shit to do today. So, thank you so much for watching. I will see you 